Hello everyone and welcome again to Wayaholic. In today's video, I will be conducting a practical test to assess the heart rate and GPS accuracy of the Apple Watch Series 9. I will compare it to the Garmin Forerunner 245 Music, which is generally considered one of the most accurate smartwatches for activity tracking. And at the end of the video, I will tell you how accurate is the Apple Watch Series 9 as compared to the Garmin. I will also compare the heart rate and GPS accuracy with the Galaxy Watch 6. So keep watching the video until the end. Let's find out how much improvement has come in the Apple Watch Series 9 in terms of heart rate and GPS accuracy. I have tied both watches on my wrist, Apple Watch Series 9 on my right wrist and Garmin Forerunner 245 Music on the left. On the screen, you can see the results of both watches. The readings on the right side are recorded by the Apple Watch Series 9, while the data on the left side is from the Garmin Forerunner 245 Music Watch. First, let's look at the distance. According to the Apple Watch Series 9, we ran 5.11 km, while according to the Garmin, it is also showing the same result of 5.11 km. So the running distance results are consistent for both watches. You can also see other data such as workout duration and moving time. The Apple Watch Series 9 shows a workout duration of 35 minutes and 16 seconds, while Garmin displays a moving time of 35 minutes and 10 seconds. The slight difference is negligible. Now, talking about the heart rate. The Apple Watch Series 9 recorded an average heart rate of 177 BPM, while the Garmin watch recorded 178 BPM. There is only one point difference between them. Next, I will display the heart rate data for each kilometer. I have synced the running activity data from both watches to Strava to obtain lap-wise heart rate data so that we can compare them. If you are unsure how to link Strava to Apple Health app, then tap on the i button to watch a dedicated video on it. Here is the data synced through Strava. Let's check the heart rate for each 1km lap. I ran a total of 5 km and 100 meters, which is why the data is displayed in 6 sections. In the first kilometer, the Apple Watch Series 9 counted 170 BPM and the Garmin watch recorded 172 BPM. In the second kilometer, the watch 9 recorded 184 BPM and the Garmin watch also recorded the same 185 BPM. In the third kilometer, the Apple Watch Series 9 shows a heart rate of 183 BPM and the Garmin watch shows 184 BPM. In the 4th kilometer, the Apple Watch Series 9 displays 177 BPM, while the Garmin watch shows 178 BPM. Even in the 5th kilometer, there is only 1 BPM difference. These consistent results from the Apple Watch Series 9 are impressive. From this test, I observed that the heart rate results from the Apple Watch Series 9 are consistently similar. Apple is making significant advancements in its smartwatches aiming to elevate them to the next level and cater to a wider audience. Now, let's examine the GPS results of this test. We have already observed that both watches covered the same distance. So, let's take a look at the map to analyze the route of the run. Initially, both routes appear identical, but upon zooming in, differences become apparent. The Garmin Forerunner 245 demonstrates accurate GPS tracking while the Apple Watch Series 9 does not show clear differentiation. Upon completing my run, I return to my starting point. However, the Apple Watch Series 9's data does not clearly indicate which side of the road I was running on, unlike the Garmin, which provides this information with clarity. Now, let's see the second test. In the second test, I compared the Apple Watch Series 9 heart rate and GPS with the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6. I choose the Galaxy Watch 6 after the Garmin watch because it also provides decent accuracy and in the previous test, we found that the Apple Watch Series 9 is also very accurate. I wore the Apple Watch Series 9 on my left hand and the Galaxy Watch 6 on my right hand. I also placed my Garmin Forerunner 245 watch in my pocket to test distance accuracy. First, let's look at the average heart rate data. Strava, which is connected to the Apple Watch Series 9, shows an average heart rate of 166 BPM. Similarly, in the Samsung Health app, the average heart rate is also 166 BPM. Both watches show the same average heart rate, indicating that both are accurate. 
Some people may wonder why did not show the Galaxy Watch 6 data on Strava. This is because there is some complication between Samsung Health and Strava syncing. Every time I sync it with Strava, it changes the Samsung Health data according to its own algorithms, which leads to differences between Samsung Health data and Strava data. You can see the differences in the data on the screen. Samsung Health cannot display lab-wise heart rate data, making it impossible to compare heart rates on a lab-by-lab -lab basis. However, I will compare other data that is comparable between the two devices. The Galaxy Watch 6 recorded the workout duration as 1 hour and 15 seconds, while the Apple Watch Series 9 recorded it as 59 minutes and 56 seconds, which is very similar. According to the Galaxy Watch 6, I covered a distance of 8.23 km, and according to the Apple Watch Series 9, it is 8.17 km. I obtained very similar data from both watches. As for the Garmin watch, it recorded that I covered 8.19 km in 59 minutes and 56 seconds. Now look at the GPS tracking comparison on the screen. Upon observing it, I felt that the Apple Watch Series 9 is showing better GPS tracking results than the Galaxy Watch 6. The Apple Watch Series 9 GPS shows accurate starting and ending points, but the Galaxy Watch 6 shows some differences in the starting position. Other than this, in the route tracking of both watches, we can see that they overshoot from the real track. In this test, we conclude that the Apple Watch Series 9 and Galaxy Watch 6 have very similar results. Apple Watch Series 9 and Galaxy Watch 6 results match with the Garmin 4Runner 245 Music results. Before we proceed with the next test, I would like to let you know that creating these type of videos requires significant effort and energy. So if you are liking this video so far, I kindly request you to subscribe to our channel. Now, I will conduct another test where I will compare the data of the Apple Watch Series 9 with Garmin 4Runner 245 Music after a long run. Let's see if there is any data difference or if it remains similar during the long run. Again, I have tied both watches on my wrist. Apple Watch Series 9 on my right wrist and Garmin 4Runner 245 Music on the left. According to the Garmin 4Runner 245, I ran 8.14 km, while according to the Apple Watch Series 9, it was 8.13 km. These results are very similar. In terms of average heart rate, the Garmin 400 245 Music recorded 170 BPM, while the Apple Watch recorded 168 BPM. Other than this, the heart rate is almost the same in all labs, except for the first one, and the GPS tracking is also consistent, as we discussed previously in the first test. In the fourth test, I switched the watches on my head. The Garmin 4Runner watch was on my right hand and the Apple Watch Series 9 was on my left hand. According to the Garmin 4Runner, I ran 7.55 km with an average heart rate of 173 BPM. According to the Apple Watch Series 9, I ran 7.53 km with an average heart rate of 175 BPM. A small difference in the data from both watches is within normal expectations. Overall, the Apple Watch Series 9 showed very accurate data. Now, let's look at the heart rate data for each lap. Both watches recorded a total of 7.5 laps. In the first 3 laps, the heart rate is the same on both watches and 1 point difference in the 4th lap. However, in the 5th lap, there is a surprising 17 point difference. I'm not sure what caused this significant difference. The 6th lap showed a 3 point difference, while the 7th and 8th laps had only 1 point difference. Overall, the results were similar except for the 5th lap. Now, let's compare the GPS tracking. The starting and ending points are the same, but there are differences in the route recorded by both watches. The Apple Watch Series 9 overshot the track, while the Garmin 4Runner mixed running on one side of the road with running on the other side. Despite these differences, I'm satisfied with the overall results of the Apple Watch Series 9. In summary, Apple Watch Series 9 proves to be an excellent addition to your daily routine due to its exceptional performance in workout tracking and health monitoring, boasting remarkable accuracy. That's why Apple Watches are the best-selling smartwatches on the market. The results for heart rate and GPS tracking were consistently accurate, further highlighting its reliability and effectiveness. That's all for today's video. If you like the video, then tap on the thumbs up button and share it with your friends by tapping on the share button. For more interesting and informative videos, subscribe to Wayaholic. See you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.